Hello, and welcome to Farthest Frontier. Well, we managed to survive that uh, shortage of food in the last episode. But we're in the process of trying to expand out and still adding an extra field over here. So, got, so far we've got three fields here. What I'm thinking is adding some more fields there. The only trouble was I'm not overly enthusiastic about building on an iron mine, I must admit. But I'm kind of struggling where else to probably put one. Now, one thing I'm thinking of is I, I think I might move the barn. See if I can fit a barn up here. That's possible. It's not really doing much at the moment. I mean, it needs... It needs quite a bit of room, though. It's the only thing is, I don't know if I can fit it there. I mean, I wouldn't have much problems actually moving the building itself, but... I might struggle to... to be able to actually get all the cows to live there. Uh, I, mean, I mean, the grazing... If you look at the set, the grazing, it's quite, quite large. So set the grazing to be, oh that's a thought actually, we'll move that grazing to be say there. Yeah, there's no way I could, well I might. It might be possible just to say squeeze that in. I can always move the, the palisade that we're building. We put it there, so you, let's try that. I just want to free up space, that's all, and see if we can start putting some fields down here. Well, oh, hold on, we've got a merchant showed up. Right, so, um, I, mean, I can sell some of my clay off, I suppose, and the more gold I've got, the better. Why not? Because I can't do anything with that at the moment anyway, that's why I'm just selling it off. There's no point. I mean, I could store it, but I'd rather make a bit of money out of it in the process. Buying things. I mean, I've got a soap. Oh, wow. 657 they want for a cow. I think that's a bit expensive. Isn't it? Um, yeah, I think we've got enough soap just to keep going. I mean, I've got five in storage, but. That's for like storage within the trading post itself, nothing literally within the main storage, so... No, I think I'll leave it now for now. Uh, I think that's about it as far as that trade uh, tradesman goes. But let's get back to moving the farm. Oh. I think is I can always move it back again. <laughs> that's not flat, not again. This drives me bonkers. This. Now that's a thought. I'll have to move the. Uh, I'll have to move the um, the forage and one okay, care. They're getting quite a lot of herbs over there. Right, I'll tell you what. Let's try and whack on the terrain. They're not going to be impressed, but let's have a look, see if there's anywhere. There's one herbs over there. over there, some of it further out, I can push them further out, because they actually, what are they, um, what are they getting? They get mostly mushrooms, so I'm getting mushrooms, herbs, and berries. And if I move them over to there, there's plenty of herbs and berries there. There's some eggs and there's some mushrooms down there. So I could potentially a bit better. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll wait for this area to get flat and see if I can fit my, my barn in there. That's being harvested, so that's okay. May as well clear that area out altogether. Oh, 
Oh, right, our palisades aren't finished yet. <laughs> so that's a bit of a pain. Uh, so this could get quite interesting. I'm not at the point where I've, I've actually built any real defences, so this could get interesting. So they're coming in from here. We've got two people, so let's slow this down a bit. So we've got two people in that tower. Keep an eye on things, or them. They're attacking the, yeah. Uh, a root cellar, so they've stolen some meat. So yeah, they've stolen some some meat from us. But then, so they've, they've oh, dude, this could be bad. Oh dear. Now they're attacking. Oh, truth. Now they're deciding to attack here because we've probably got a lot of gold in here. Let's pull everybody back to the village, and then at least I can get some some things going over here for the yeah. Uh, where they can start attacking them with the arrows. Right, well, they've run away now, so they're not going to reach something. I may as well turn that back off. Craig, there's so much going on at the same time. Right, let's just pause that, slow that down a little part. We'll either take these out as they're running, The others got, must have got away with uh, quite a bit of meat, unfortunately. Oh, that's frustrating. Now another bunch of raiders. Oh, crikey, now we've got raiders coming from this direction as well. <laughs> two, two sets of raiders at the same time. Jeez Louise. See now we've got enough troubles. Right, okay, let's see what... I'll just leave folks to get on with that one. Sell that off. Seeing as any particularly interesting. I mean, that was here. How far have these not got? So they're attacking. That's interesting. So they're attacking. I haven't got around to putting my defences in. That's the trouble. I mean, the garrison can't reach them. I don't think. So they're just going to basically break that wall down. I wonder if I can get. Nobody's got any any weapons as such, but. I'm just outnumber them basically. Yeah, just win on numbers all. Right, so back down here. There's Akka that we're going to try and. And then buy and sell I know. Don't have any clothes. Let's sell some of this one. It's another building being attacked. Jeez, Louise, there's two. There was two of them, okay. Let's sort that one out. Is there anything we can buy? I mean, I can buy some fish at a cheap price. Two, everything else is pretty expensive, so I think we'll leave it at that. See if they can sort this uh, raider out. I mean, they don't really have any weapons like the Bloody Hell Show. <laughs> they don't have, you know, they don't have the weapons to be able to, to go after the person. But to like shoot them. <laughs> it's quite funny that. <laughs> oh, they must have been killed. Okay. Let's see what to finish that in. Right, okay, well, there's no point. There's no point doing that. We may as well come back here. Oh, heat stress on the crops. Ah, there's a lot of things going on. It's too many things at the same time.
So yeah, so I definitely need the need the defenses then. So in that case, I better start start putting up towers. So we put, put one at each gate. At least for now, anyway. Because the trouble is, they cost cost some money to look after these things. Because you've got to pay the soldiers to, to guard them. I think actually that wall's going to come down a bit because it's going to get replaced by that one anyway. But I'll leave it there for now. I mean, at least at the moment, I'm getting I'm getting money through the, yeah, the trading ports. a thought. That wall. I think this wall needed finishing off but the road's in the way. Yeah the road is in the way so if we tear this road down. And I extend the wall. Try putting that back again. Yeah, I'll do. So what I'll end up doing, I mean I might end up part of the problem is these things only cover a certain distance, so you've got to cover the gaps because what I found is that the raiders can get um, the raiders do get clever. They, they do actually avoid lookout towers if they can. So they'll attack a wall section, for instance, and they'll, they'll just tear that wall section down and get into your village that way. So that's something to bear in mind. Always no harm in having like multiple layers, I suppose. Right. So where are we at? Got one, two. So this one, this one's doing cabbage and clover. So let's see if this is set up. So I'm not sure if I've set these up properly. All right, so that one's doing the carrots first. So that one should be doing the peas and the beans first. Okay, right, so we've got that one sorted out. So I need something for, for dealing with wheat. So I'm going to set that up for, start off with some clover and we'll do some buckwheat. Next year we'll do beans and beans, clover and almonds. Now actually I think what I'll do, when we said that, I need flax. Flax doesn't like the frost, but it's okay for that. So if we go with clover and flax, so that will rotate. Uh, that'll, yeah, it'll rotate between types of grains that we can process in the mill. As and when we get round to building one of those, but also flax for the yeah uh, production of clothing. Now why have I got a big gap in the wall? Maybe they had to flatten it out or something. Let's plug that gap. Once they've finished building that, I think I'll just move that over to there. I want a gate for people to get in and out. doing anything there so I'll put another gate there. Oh the building's on fire. Better than all those raiders, that's a certain. Um 
Viagra. <laughs> it's like reluctant to sort like um, add more people because now we're gonna build more houses for them. But it's like, well, yeah, I suppose I should really. Right, so let's tear some of these walls down. Because I'm going to have to expand. Drat. Hmm, it said shift and deselect. And it deselected everything. That's not good. Okay, so at least I can do more than one selection. Okay, I'll tear that lot down. I mean, as I say, I mean, I could have, like, different sections, but the trouble is the... Yeah, I've got to expand that. Now that I realise I've got to expand the base out anyway, so it's like... Okay, fair enough. Right, so... I need at least two houses to keep things going. And it's too steep. And that, that's in the way as well. So we'll move that... Move that to there. Uh, do these have any water? There's one there. There's one there, so I'll move that one. Put that one round about the middle. And we'll flatten that area around so we can build a house here. here for the market. Let's add another house down here then. Now let's see if we can add another house here where they're flattening it now. Oh, crops lost to wildlife. Move on. Because they haven't built, finished building the palaces yet. So there must be some wildlife nearby. Which I haven't spotted. find any way I like to run. Unless it's a cow. Unless they're talking about the cow maybe. I don't know. Actually what's the cow doing going down there? Ah oh, right up it's puzzle <laughs> accidentally moved the oh, Boobar, I've moved the like the grazing area so the, the cows eating there, yeah, the grass. <laughs> and the, all the, all the, sort of like the, yeah, oh no, it's eating all the crops. Right, let's see if we can move this then. Because the plan was to put that up here. It's still too steep. Let's turn that around. Facing there, so okay. Well, that's doable, and I can put that. That might be doable. Let's see how that goes. Right, so that's finished building. So I'm going to move that closer to the edge. Same with that one.
Yeah, that really threw me that. I'm thinking, my life, that's, that's one of the main things I've been having trouble finding is anything to hunt. And, yeah, never thought about that. <laughs> oh, no, no, go away. There's too many. I've got enough people as it is. I don't know if that has any effect if you keep telling people to, uh, to go away, but yeah. Alright, I may as well tear these fences down. Yeah, it says straighten that, it says to shift deselect, but it's not doing anything. Lost a rock and it's a housing shortage. Oh yeah, that's that's a thought. Um, still need to build another house, don't I? Did they flatten it? Ugh, it's still not flattened. No, I don't want to do that. I want to flatten the terrain. Right, try again. I suppose I, mean, I need it. I need yeah. I only need enough room for four more people. So we're in the, we're in the process of moving the, oh, the poor cow strip down there on its own. <laughs> Guess they've, they've torn the building down. They just haven't got round to building it yet. I think that's going to be a bit of a priority. I keen to prioritise the cow over uh, these people who are truth but don't have enough firewood. Are you kidding me? Let's have a look. What's the. Could be a, a log splitter somewhere. So there's the, sh the log sh Hold that. There you go, there's a firewood splitter. Right, okay, so I'll, I'll put somebody extra into there. That, uh, hopefully that'll speed things up. Meantime, we need lots of trees to looking down. We've got a lot of logs here. Come on. There's a cow out there getting the cold. Also three people as well, like but um, Right, so grazing area for that. Just out by one. going over there that makes a change because I've I've played it on on earlier versions I mean again still in early access but I've played it on earlier versions and sometimes you had problems a cow would just like lose the plot <laughs> just like I don't know what to do I don't know where to go but it seems to be so yes I know we're running out of things got bigger problems Oh no, now I've just. Oh, foo bar. Now I've just completely messed up the desirability in my housing. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put. Put the house down there for now, so it's like. Oh, it's true. I'm gonna have to put that somewhere else now. I'll put it down here. I'll, I'll have to put it down, back down here. God. Jeez Louise. Yeah, they, they don't like living next to the cow farm. I'm trying to... I mean, I'm trying to get these, these homesteads upgraded so I can upgrade the town centre, but it's like... Yeah, I never thought about that. Right. 
Hmm. Right, well, speaking of fields, that one there. I mean, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's if I put. I mean, the fertility here is not going to be that great, I've got to admit. So if I build a. I think I was doing 8 by 9s here for whatever reason. So that's about 79%, which is not good. Well, it's not bad, it's just not as good. Um, and, and, oh, this, seriously? It's going to be the death of me, this. <laughs> all this, all this blue and st all these slopes that you get. I mean, you can keep flattening it out, but the, the terrain too, I don't, I don't find it to be that good. Right, what the heck, we'll build them here. So that gives me more, more fields for wheat and flax. So I think we're going to... Oh, I'll take for it. Right, okay. Well, I think we're going to tear... We're just getting into the winter, so I'm going to tear these down. I'm going to remove the walls. Because there's no point having these anymore. So at least I've solved the housing problem for now. I mean, the I'm planning a fire and hopefully we'll start to get more now that I've got these two. I mean, it gets better if I can upgrade this, um, this to a higher tier, but... Oh, great, we've got smallpox and we've got typhoid. <laughs> it's the weakness. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Have you got anything interesting in this by yourself? I need mean, something to cheer me up. This is everybody seems to be a bit miffed. I mean, I wonder if we've got like high coats, but they want they want linen clothes. I mean, I could buy some, I suppose, but uh, they're yeah, fifteen each. Right, so uh, let's do that. Let's start. Let's start selling off these high coats, for instance. And if we buy some of these, I mean, it's, it's over a hundred people, so <laughs> it's not going to get me very far, I must admit, but yeah, it's better than nothing. Um, handles, beer, I don't know. Bulbs, that's no use. Bricks, now that's a thought I... Just thinking this one... I still need the metal ingots. Finish that bulb off. Because that gives me a better place to store. The gold, for instance, and weapons. Hmm. Clean up there for now. So I need to upgrade this to... I only need really one person. But what they do is they just go out and get... They gather resources and bring them back to the trading post. And I'm not doing that much trading at the moment anyway. So there's another person coming in. Hopefully they might have some metal ingots to finish off the bolt. Jeez, the reason. Do not like that lightning strike. So they don't have any weapons, so I'm still very busy trying to get the palisades finished off. Still got a ways to go to get the fields finished off. But I'm going to move these. So there, if I put it there, it's affecting. Somebody trading post, right? Okay, so this 
I'll slow this down to give you a bit more time before she disappears. Oh, she's... Ah, she'll buy or sell it. Right, okay, well I need 20. I do need 20 so that I can... So at least I can get that sorted out. Don't really have anything here. I don't really want to sell the candles if they're under value. I could buy some more tools. That was supposed to speed up their production. I'm not really at the point yet of actually. Uh, doing the uh, like heavy tools, for instance, where I need to start doing f what I could do, but because I well, I'm not I could buy and store it, but the trouble is, I'm not at that tier level where I can actually. Now, well, having said that, I mean, there, there is the there is the windmill would benefit from one. Try one. How much is how much is she asking? It's a normal price. Let's do that and we'll buy one of we'll buy one of these if I can, if I can ask for one. So that gets me the heavy tools so I can now start thinking about the windmill. Because once we get the windmill sorted out, then the bakery can come along. I've already got a barn. I don't have an arborist yet, but I So in which case, if we move anyway, if we get back to this, I want to... Yes, move to you too. I want to move this. Um, because it's obviously annoying people over there. Oh, and the slope's too steep. It's interesting that. It's right over here, but it must be a. F it, it, it's still affecting people. So it's a bit of that. And it's affecting these people, even though when I moved it. So I didn't imply that it was having a problem. You can see it's only when it's. Yeah, putting it there, I'm not getting a like a red warning sign. Only when it's there. Hmm. Let's try putting it here then out of the way. We'll see if that. We'll see if the warning. If these people start to complain. See, so we've got we've still got that to finish up. I'm sure I'll just What happened to my iron ingots? Oh no, don't tell me I bought thought I bought some iron ingots. Well I didn't I bought iron ore. It's not much use because I'm not <laughs> that stuff is of no use to me. Booba. I could have sworn I bought some iron ingots, no way. Right, I'm gonna move the cow. Cow's barn. So that's puts these back up, so they're in the twenties now. So they're still in the thirties, so let's see what happens if they once the barn gets built. That's okay, so it's not too bad. So I, I could, I could move it a bit closer, but um, have to flatten these areas here. It's your grazing area at the moment is now going to involve a pond. Ah, oh, cheese Louise. 
sick. I can't put... Well, like, that interrupts. So what's... So what's special about that, then? Because normally, the, normally I would put it just in front of the barn, but... Trouble is, the pond's in the way. Can't really win. Well, wait till I flatten this, and I'll see if I can move it a bit further back. And maybe that might sort them out. Desirability of quite a lot. Pretty pricey. Oh, not again. <laughs> Grr! I'm sick to death of having to flatten things in this game. Particularly because it just doesn't work properly. We can sort that out and make my life a lot easier. Nope, see, it's still too steep. Stop setting everything on fire, will you? Right, now that's sorted out. Let's see if we can flatten over here. I just get the impression they don't know how to flatten anything. Right, so uh, we want crops on this one. So this one's going to have to then be. We'll do the wheat. First, so I'll put in a slightly different rotation for that one. So that there will be book one. Then we'll try some flax. So it's still busy trying to flatten that place and that place. Alright, let's see, okay. Almost finished flattening these areas. This is a certain... I mean, maybe it's just too steep or something. It's just not practical to uh, flatten it. Too steep. Seriously? Let's try again. Maybe there's a certain way you just gotta use it or something, I don't know. It's very fussy. Right, now that that's moved a bit, that buys me a bit of extra. You know what I wanna? See, obviously you can't use that area there. I mean, I'm losing quite a bit of area because of the pond. I'll send them over there. We'll go and have some boot roller. So I've got a cow. Okay. I need more cows. I need more food. No, not again. 
Don't tell me I need oh no. Oh, I've messed up the food we ordered actually again. So they're growing they're growing turnips. Oh they're in a clover so we're out of them. They're doing beans. Oh that's a rot. That sucks. So what I can do is I mean I can I can play around with the soil mixture levels. I mean if you've got things like clay or you've got sand so you can tweak things a bit. So I think it varies. A season. But you can see like that, that one at the moment. It's making we're, we're growing turnips. And it's the soil mixture is ideal. To be honest, I mean I've got too many weeds anyway, so that's why I've got the farmer in there to try and sort things out. But that one's just slightly off when it comes to bean. So if I if I were to add some more clay it might improve things a bit. So I'll move it to somewhere in the green area. I think that's better at that. Add a bit more clear than that. That one needs more sand. And that one's spot on, so I'll get them to sort that out. What I really need is a like another cow and then it start getting a heck of a lot more meat but for now it is what it is I mean if we can last into the spring at least we can get more stuff from the, the traders uh, I've run into the winter so they can't finish that one off pick it up in the springtime I mean it's not that much left to go and this one's I mean these ones are more for the uh, for the wheat and for the uh, being able to basically make bread and so on. I think what I'll do then, I mean I can't, I've got to be a bit careful. I was going to build stuff over here but I've just got to be careful getting too close to the houses then. So if we do... So we have to... Jeez Louise, that's... can't build that too close. Oh, it's too steep again. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? That's too big an area to flatten, is it? Try f just getting up. A whole lot just flattened. Because what I'm thinking of is basically getting a windmill and a bakery in there. So the cows sorted out, we just need more of them. Palisades are up. Right, now defences then, so. To so say these raiders are not they're not idiots and they do they do attack places if you've got gaps. So I think what I'll do is I'll I need to try and cover the gaps. So put one save there. There. I mean, we were running a road. I think the plan was to run a, probably run a road down there, maybe, but. One. On there. And I need one more over here. That should cover cover most areas. I mean, I put more than one on a gate. As you get more and more raiders, it probably makes sense to. 
can also upgrade these defences once you start to get the, the barracks. It says to upgrade it, you need a, a barracks built. And then you'll be able to turn those into um, into stone defence towers so they've got more defence to be able to handle attacks. I mean, ideally, what, what, I, what I want is to turn all this light into stone, to have stone walls. So that way they can't get in in the first place to attack the towers, but... Hmm. So this is... Biowood Splitter and... We're out of storage, interesting. So that means there must be... Oh, there's the storage area then. Ah, right, because the storehouse is getting too full. do is somewhere else to, to store things. Oh, it's too big. Four by four. I don't know if the storage house is too big, but anyway. Possibly. Looks like we've finished doing a flattening. Let's see if we can get uh, no. That is just far too steep. Okay, so try again. See I'm not quite sure how it works because it's Maybe there's a certain low point to start with. You know, wherever you start, it maybe they'll pick that as the low point and then from there they decide to flatten it. But difficult to see already. I just end up keep trying to flatten things and see if it works. See, it's all over the top, it's down, it's, it's terrible, it's certainly not flat. Let's see what they've got. Have you got any cows going cheap? Yes, you have, right? I'll have a, I'll have a cow, please. Stock. <laughs> I don't want to stock that in the in the store in the trading post. I want to just, uh, put it out in the field. And they're, they're buying ironing. It's not selling. Mm. Can I buy some cheese? That'll keep them interested, maybe. Let's see how that goes. So. Put the put our cow in there because there's only one. Part. So we've now got two of ten. I'm not all typhoid. I'm sure we were supplying people with soap. Surely we're supposed. Where's our soap? So. Storehouse, cobblers, soap shop. So we've got two two people working on soap. We've produced ten. Mind you, to be fair, there's over a hundred people, so maybe it's probably just not enough soap to go around. Just trying to find out where it would be on here because it's produced items. Usable items. Okay, well, let's crank this up and get an extra person working in here to see if idling, unable to work. Hmm. 
So we've got firewood. We've got herbs. Ah, now that's a thought as you're short as you tell them. Yeah, we don't have much tallow. Uh, hmm. They're not selling any. Yeah, if we're not getting tallow, that's going to be a big problem. Try again. Oh, that's better. Right, well, we don't want to put it there anyway, because it's... Seriously annoying the people. So put that there. And uh, we can get our oh, it's too steep. <laughs> Grr. Try and flatten that then we And everybody's seriously annoyed because there's not enough food. Good grief. Right, okay. What's it? Oh, yeah, the cow. It's the cow down there. I'm thinking, what's the cow doing down there? And if, yeah, it's because that's where I've got a graze. Right, what can we buy? We're selling it to cheap people. Right, okay. Well, well I'm, gonna, I'm desperate to buy some meat. Is that smoked meat? Meat's going actually quite cheap. So buy some of that. I'm not doing so well on the gold, so I'm going to off. I'll hold off on that for now. Right, so that one feels ready to go, so. So that one started with the wheat. That one started with wheat. So this one I need to do the flax this time. And if we do peas and oh it's next season. Peas and beans. Let's see how that goes. So those three are mostly for the food, those three are mostly for the, for the wheat. Start with a flat. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've lost the plot here. So let's flip that around because that doesn't make sense to me. Problem is a lack of Let's move that out to there. Move that back a bit. Let's take that out. The clover and flax, clover and buckwheat. Yeah, try that rotation instead. So that would be... Take that out. Put flux into that one. Yeah, none of that makes sense. Um, in which case I'll go with 
put these back so we'll do clover and buckwheat Little peas and beans and clover and wheat i'll have to find something else to do with the flax probably have to set up separate fields so for that one there's that if we do the peas and the beans first then the clover the wheat and the clover and the buckwheat so that one will do wheat first it's a bit of a juggling act trying to keep up with all the food that's the thing So what I need is more fields which are going to be doing doing flax for the clothes. So let's see, we're up to we've got two cows. I'm not doing any milking yet, because I mean basically it's only even to breed. Get our storage in here. Such a give me a bit more extra room for that place. That's almost done. I've got tons of planks. doesn't look good. It's not be able to pull the road. I mean, that, that road, jeez Louise, that's horrific. All right, so now we just need to build it, actually build it. But one of the problems with this, though, is that the, uh, the heavy tools that wear out they only last so long. So off they go. So they're going to take the grain that we produce doesn't matter whether it comes from the buckwheat or the wheat we'll then turn that into flour in which case I need a bacon but um, which way around do you go oops nope don't want to do that so that's the bakery. So if I put a bakery there, what was it? The, the windmill. They don't need any tools, heavy tools, but the, the problem with places like the windmill is that these heavy tools do wear out. You see there's like a percentage based on its durability. The problem I'm going to get is that that will wear out and I'll need to replace it. And until I get the, that tier where I can start producing my own heavy tools I've got to keep buying them from the actual uh, trading post crops lost to rot oh whereabouts oh okay bad news might have been because I was doing all that rotation Got to swapping things around We'll see, but I mean, that's, that's going to get us now bread. Now that is, yeah, that's the barn. So that really is where we're into the arborist. So that's for basically producing uh, something like fruits. So there's all sorts of different trees, which is quite good, I must admit. But you've really got to keep an eye on it. It's, it's another very it's like micromanaged sort of thing. Speaking of which, uh, I need to go and find my one of these working caps because I don't keep an eye on them. I quickly complain. So 
They've got some manure that I can apply. Let's put it in that one there. It's forty percent a cent. That's interesting. I thought I had a working camp somewhere. Oh, that no. Yes, that's it. Yeah, that's the work camp. So they're just focused on trees for now. But you can basically, it's, it doesn't have a an option to add trees. They won't grow. They just chop mature trees down. But they, they, they go down really, really quickly. And the only option is to basically plant your own trees. But each one costs one gold, and it's it's pretty. Um, Time consuming to keep replacing trees. Right, so they're complaining of a lack of water. Uh, resources, water well. There you go, I'll make their lives easier. By putting a water well next to them. <laughs> so they haven't produced anything yet because they haven't they haven't killed any of these. And I haven't I'm not doing any milking, so at the moment we're just feeding them because I just want this. I just want more of them. Um, just having a look. So we're still ticking over as far as gold goes. We've got we've got a source of iron over there if we need it. We've got a source of iron right next to us. There's more there. That's the sort of things I need thinking of. Cool. I need to find some coal as well. But until I get to the next tier, I can't really do much other than just collect a raw ore. So where are these lot at? So there's still six. Ah, now that's a thought. I wanted to build a... I was going to build a large park to cheer everybody up, but... Ooh, surprise, surprise, it's too steep. Oh, and there goes the geese again. So if I can get a... If I can get that, um... Park in there, it'll improve the desirability of the area. So there's... It's interesting, what it... Ah. Oh. I wonder if that one's just right on the edge. Yeah, that's outside the reach of the... It's outside the reach of the market store. I mean, I could move it there, but then that one would probably be too close to the windmill. In which case, I'll have to move the windmill. Jeez <laughs> Louise. Let's move that one over to... Nope, it's too steep. Okay. Surprising how many resources we you know, how much food we keep losing down the road. And there's three workers. There's three people working in the field. And three lost of frost, so we've had an early frost. Let's see if we can build our. Nope. Still too steep. Because if I can get that to be nice and flat, then if I can get the the uh, like like a large park in here, it usually reaches out and I end up with quite good uh, desirability around me. Right, let's see if we can move that house, because I think that one is right on the edge. So I'm going to move that one over to... here. That brings it just within... kind of within range. It's almost done. See, so, so far this year we've done 420 flour, 300 bread. Let's just 
try a large pot again. Hmm. Nope, it's gonna still complain. So I think I'm gonna have to just keep trying to flatten that that area. Oops, somebody's complaining there's not enough gold. So where's the I have a horrible feeling that would happen. That's one of the drawbacks is we've got to pay for all these all these defensive towers, but I'm gonna to have to try and find a way to flatten this area. Because if I can do that, then it improves the desirability. These because some of them are just on the limit. Some of them are well outside the limit. That's yeah, I'm gonna to have to move the windmill it seems because it's affecting that house. But once I get enough enough houses, once I get up to 25. Then it'll be a case of we'll be then be able to upgrade the actual town centre. That then allows me to unlock the ability to start producing my own gold um, and find it there in the foundry. But I can also make my own heavy heavy tools, so it takes you off that reliability of the the actual traders to do that. But of course, that's all for another episode. <laughs>